welcome this is the energy vibration uh, for the full moon um, reading for the fire sign this is for the Aries Leo and Sagittarius and Ophiuses I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful um, surprise <laughs> and, um, and please like and share the weekly readings are back check that out please let's uh, see what is going to be coming up in this full moon um, for what I've seen it's going to be a rough full moon for us some people but let's see what exactly is transpiring okay so let's look at this full moon remember that the Sun people are the people who were born at 6 a.m. till 6 p.m. and remember that uh, um, the moon people are the people who were born between the hours of 6 p.m. till 6 a.m. so for you Sun people this video is going to be an hour longer it is on on the mound and there you will receive over money finance um, healing energies and love so you can check out that video so let's see what's coming up for you Sun sign people we have mercury mercury coming up for the Sun sign um, um, the Sun zodiac people mercury is here um, then we have the energy of scorpion so um, Mercury with scorpion, um, yeah, your intuition. You could be taking on the energy as a scorpion. Then we have the Taurus and the scorpion, okay? So whatever the situation is, we're dealing with a situation with the Taurus and the scorpions. Let's look at the moon. People, we have the energy of the Aquarian. So I love when the energy of people comes up, especially um, in the moon reading instead of the planetary, because the planetary aspect really... Um, have a huge effect on you the Leos come up Aquarians and the Leos whatever is transpiring the Aquarians and the Leos come out those are good energies um, then um, we have Uranus Uranus um, coming out for you guys Uranus so wow this is really exceptional for you fire sign people then the Aries are definitely here so whatever is happening you Aries are really coming up in a um, this uh, full moon this is the first time I've seen a zodiac um, sign comes up so um, frequently this is the third um, reading I'm doing for this full moon and the Aries are coming up uh, so much so this is the energy um, also for the Aries so let's see and um, you Aries have gotten yourself in some um, deep um, situations um, you Aries and Leo's um, if you um, or dealing with Leo um, I'm seeing um, some um, mystical things is going to be happening um, it could be that you're connecting with this person in whatever way but it's going to be um, like mystical mercury is like learning to use magic okay um, this could be some of you Aries have been using negative energies to get what you want and we're going to be looking at how Pluto is here because Pluto is going to Pluto is going to have an effect on you Aries okay I'm seeing this coming up with a lot of uh, I don't know what is happening to you Aries um, whatever you Aries was doing and whatever that was transpiring Pluto Uranus and Pluto um, is aligning you Aries so you know and you're going to be having an effect on the rest of the fire sign people so um, this is really a full moon that I'm seeing it's as if it's plunging out um, lies deception and that sort of a thing and this full moon is really really coming up because you Aries are all affected by this full moon and this is the third reading I'm doing so for the Sun people the people who were born um, between the hours and uh, um, um, uh, the, the, the Aries um, and the people who were the fire sign Aries, the moon sign Aries, they're all going to be affected, okay? So let's look at the people who were born between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. You're dealing with Mercury, and Mercury is the planet that is going to help you to manifest, okay? That is a planet of manifestation. Some of you could be um, working with the scorpions, and uh, um, you could be working um, to get us to... Um, to do something that is um, negative because mercury is uh, when people work in black magic and witchcraft and that sort of a thing okay but in a positive way it is the planetary system that is helping you to understand certain aspect of alchemy okay so be aware of that now 
some of you are going to be dealing with the Tauruses and the Scorpions. So the Tauruses and the Scorpions could be coming in to help out some of you fire sign people. And this is going to be good, um, especially if you were born between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Because I'm saying uh, this is a wonderful system of alignment that is uh, transpiring. Some of you could be removing an Aries out of your life with whatever reason because Pluto is the central. And whenever Pluto comes up, Pluto is letting you know that I am no longer accepting whatever is going on. There is some real sick um, um, plane that is going on. And Pluto, um, it's as if Pluto come to say, hey, this is not happening. So for the sun sign people, um, um, you are going to be um, really affected by this energy. Um, because seize the moment with radiance and confidence is coming up and that is for the, the sun Aries is you know you're going to be seizing the moment with radiance and confidence that is coming up but be careful how you seize this moment for the Sagittarius let your en enthusiastic burn brighter so this is um, really wonderful for you um, you Sagittarius and, and that is really really positive um, for the Leas, um, it is going to be a, an absolutely, a, a, your, your magnetism is going to be manifesting, um, what it is that you want. And this is going to be, um, good. Some of you trust your instincts and move forward confidently. So it's as if, uh, um, some of you Aries, are going to be removed out of an organization or move away from something and you need to trust your intuition and move forward okay you need to move it's time for you to move okay um leos watch out for um melodrama keep your dignity so you leos watch out for the melodrama and keep your dignity because you leos are going to be having a melodrama with um the um um Aquarians and you need to remove yourself out of that sort of a situation now for the Sagittarius wait through the resting until you can see clearly so you Sagittarian just wait through um, this period this full moon period until you can um, see clearly and then you make a decision okay so let's look at the people who were born um after 6 p.m to 6 a.m you are going to be dealing with an aquarius and an aries okay and these these two people could be maliciously doing something but they're going to be caught okay so whatever is transpiring between you and an aries and an aquarian they are going to be caught they're maliciously doing something and it has to do with witchcraft black magic or something negative because mercury is there it's not it coming up in a positive energy they're definitely telling me what they're doing but they're maliciously doing it and they're going to be caught because i'm seeing the aries coming down it's like as if this full moon is bringing down the aries and i'm sorry for the aries um, this is only for the Aries who has been doing a uh, negative things to other people, witchcraft, black magic, whatever you call it, um, uh, candle work, whatever you call it. Um, you're going to be it in this full moon as uh, we, cause Pluto is on top of you. And whenever Pluto comes up, um, especially Pluto is going to bring you back in alignment. Okay. Because it's as if you think that you were raining on everybody's show, um, and what is happening is that uh, the universe, and this is how the universe works. Um, whenever the universe see that a sign or a person, um, is, you know, getting away with certain things, they let you go and go and go because Uranus is here. If you notice you have Pluto and Uranus and with Pluto and Uranus, this is going to be having a huge effect on you Aries because it's as if you're coming in alignment to learn a lesson whatever this lesson is is um especially for the people that has been doing injustice to other people you're going to be caught um in this time span okay so there are people who subtly um work witchcraft black magic and that sort of a thing against other people and people are not aware 
of what is happening and this is all going to be coming out because there is someone and always when you think that you're very powerful and you're doing things and getting away with things it's not going to be happening this time so action as both risk and reward so um this is what is coming up for some of you and whoever out there that has been doing injustice because the aries are like the central and I, it's not that i'm against aries or anything you can see this in the reading that the aries are in the central of this reading so it, a, a lot of you aries are going to be affected so let's see what is transpiring with mercury what is mercury bringing in for you fire signs what is mercury bringing in for you fire signs so gossip gossip so um whenever gossip and mercury comes in that means people are not vibrating on the high energy vibration so um as i said before is that they could be working um working black magic because mercury is uh, um changing the energy of the alchemy or changing energy okay so be aware of that the scorpions what is happening with the scorpions the scorpions are now stepping back and thinking the scorpions are now stepping back and thinking some of you were connecting with scorpions and they're like whoa uh, okay what's happening here no it wasn't supposed to go this way so the scorpions are really stepping back um, from a situation and think no I'm not doing this anymore um, this is sick um, what have I done so that is going to be it's as if for some of you who are dealing with scorpions scorpions is really going to be happening like a break a break a, 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 a rude awakening and step back the Tauruses what's happening for the Tauruses um, impassive and this is good because the Tauruses are coming in and it's going to help you fire sign impatience and they're going to be coming in and teaching you how to deal with certain aspect of yourself and this is going to be good because the Tauruses are very very smart people especially business why the Tauruses are very smart whatever the situation that is transpiring the Tauruses are coming out coming in and they're going to be showing you certain aspect of yourself now we have Uranus and what is really Uranus is bringing completion Uranus is definitely bringing a completion to a situation so here again is the Aries coming up and if you go back and you listen to all of this moon region the Aries there is a situation that is affecting a lot of you Aries and a situation a completion is coming to an end because Pluto and Uranus Uranus is definitely bringing a completion with an Aries so whoever this Aries is and whatever you were doing there's definitely but that you that the universe is bringing in a completion to whatever you were doing Leah's let's check out Leah's I always say well, Leah's you are going to be finding wisdom in this timeline this is going to be good for you Leah's because wisdom is going to be coming in you're definitely definitely going to be um, aligned with wisdom especially if you're a Leo that was born um, um, 6 p.m. till 6 a.m. you are definitely definitely going to be finding inner wisdom this is going to be wonderful this is going to be positive it's going to be wonderful you're going to be positively aligned you Leo so that is a zero really positive Aquarians are coming in and what are they Aquarians um, insecurity so some of you who are dealing with the Aquarians they're very um, insecure about a situation so some of you if you're in a relationship with an Aquarius they are very insecure about a situation and whatever the situation that is transparent and happening definitely insecurity so if you're in a relationship with an Aquarius they're not going to be opening up because they're very you or them could be very um, insecure about this relationship here is what is coming up for the Aries um, what is coming up for the Aries um, what is coming up for the Aries is fate because there has been situation that you have a career for yourself and uh, for you fire sign um, the Aries is going to be affecting with this energy of fate because whatever you have done 
um, and create you need to find faith within to get you through but for the rest of you fire sign people you're going to find a sense of renewal you're going to be finding a sense of renewal that is going to be coming in um, because a Pluto is going to be um, showing you the way forward it's as if Pluto remove um, the sense of whatever negative situations and energy that was there and they are aligning you in such a positive way you fire sign people I can see the Leo's really being affected here and this is going to be good um, you Aries um, some of you are doing very, very good um, have faith because things will work out for you for the Aries that has been sneakingly working against others and gossiping and that sort of a thing now whatever you give out is definitely what is going to be returning to you ladies and gentlemen please like share leave a message about this reading because there's going to be a lot that is going to be affecting you Leo's are going to be um, really positive especially the Leo's that is born that was born 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. there is just going to be a lot of situation that is happening a renewal of fate is going to be coming in for you fire signs in this full moon so that is going to be good um, the Aries you need to have faith because whatever you have done and whatever transformation because there's a lot of gossip and insecurity that is going on so be aware of this namaste until next time